and, and, and who we are today as, as a country, as a, as a universe. Congratulations, Reggie Jackson. You are CUBE alumni. Live from Silicon Valley, it's the CUBE covering Google Cloud Next 17. Hi, and welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of Google Next 2017. We're at the heart of Silicon Valley in our great studio in Palo Alto. We've got a team of reporters and analysts up in San Francisco with the 10,000 people attending uh, really Google's enterprise show. It's got cloud, it's got G Suite, it's got a little bit of the devices. I'm happy to welcome back to the program uh, some we've had on many times, Nelson yeah. Nahum, uh, the CEO of Zadara Storage, a really you know, a company that's in there understanding this cloud transition from kind of how the enterprise gets in, multi-cloud and, and all those pieces. So Nelson, w welcome back to the program. Uh, thank you, Stu, how are you? All right, it, it's good. So you, know, um, you and I, uh, last time we talked, uh, was at another cloud show, a little bigger cloud show, one that's been going on for a number of years, but you know, let, let's, let's start talking about Google. What's, yeah. um, you know, we, we think a lot of progress over the last couple of years. I mean, Diane Green definitely has put her stamp on this company. Sure. Um, a ton of people that have been brought in, many of them, then, you know, those of us in the industry, you know, we know these people, we've seen them grow these businesses, understand how to talk to the enterprise. So, you know, what's your take on the show so far and, and how Google's doing as a company? And we'll get into how they are as a partner yeah. soon. Too. Uh, so uh, this is our first <laughs> Google Cloud show for us for Zadara. We've been in, uh, I think, since 2011 in Amazon Reinvent, um, and uh, I, we like it. This is uh, is going very well. We have a lot of conversations. Um, we saw that there are many many customers looking to have multi-cloud strategy that uh, actually work very well for us uh, because we can provide storage that can be accessible at the same time concurrently from Amazon and for, from Google and Azure and, and others. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that's uh, it's a good trend. I think most of the people we found, they are uh, either already in Amazon and looking to expand to Google or uh, some on-premise to Google and so on. Yeah, uh, can you help unpack that multi-cloud bit a, be a bit for us? So, you know, maybe some of our audience might not know. You guys sit um, in you know some of those you know mega data centers uh, like the, the Equinex is the yeah. world and direct connect to, to, to the public exactly. cloud. So exactly. it's you know I, I've got kind of my storage being Zadara and there actually is you know physical storage uh, there and then that you know plugs in uh, to the cloud resources. Of course, we know AWS is direct connect. Uh, Amazon has. Uh, you know th their equivalent, and, and Google has has the same. So, yeah. y y can you have you know a s it's a single solution that does it just get fibers to all three of them? Is there software yeah, that so takes care of it? How does we, that work? Yeah, yeah. Great, uh, great question. So we we sit in uh, Equinix data centers uh, and uh, with our cloud, and uh, from there we, we in many cases we use Equinix Cloud Exchange that is basically like a networking uh, inside the Equinix and can be connected. Uh, to many different uh, potential targets. So currently we are cross-connected to Amazon, Google, and Azure. So a customer of us can create uh, a storage and mount with NFS or SIFS uh, uh, or block and, and can mount the, the storage, especially if it is file storage that you can share data, uh, can mount the same storage to virtual machines in Google and virtual machines in Amazon and they at the same time, they see the, the same files. Right? Yeah. And, and, and what's the use case? Why are they doing that? Is that for redundancy or certain features? You know, there was a certain cloud outage a week ago. <laughs> your customers, you know, riding through that, uh, you know, based yeah, on so what they're the, doing. The, the major uh, cloud outage that uh, Amazon has last week, S3, um, caused many people <laughs> to rethink, I guess. Uh, fortunately for us, all our customers that sit in our storage, it wasn't impacted because they they sit in our storage and they they don't use uh, we don't use uh, Amazon infrastructure so they, they could continue to yeah, no S three for your customers right <laughs> uh, right yeah. so we we are we are doing the block and the file story for our customers um, I think that what is important here is not the outage but is what is important is people start recognizing that uh, you need to have the data in two locations in order to, to be safe. Right? Yeah, it, it's, you know, 
people that have done architecture and understand infrastructure is, uh, you know, I, I need to be thoughtful as to how I architect right. things. So you, you, either I need to make sure I have the availability zones and the, ser the, the services and, you know, can take care of that, or, you know, perhaps even multi-cloud to be able multi to, So you know, multi-cloud, you're that. completely independent and right. one, one to each other. So we have, we have already many customers using us and Amazon. And again, w because our storage can be cross-connected to multiple cloud, it's very easy to access uh, from virtual machines in any cloud at the same time. So uh, people that are using that is uh, either for a kind of disaster tolerant solutions or more robust solution, uh, as well in some cases for migration. I mean, the, each, each cloud provider has the uh, places or, or the attributes that has you can run applications better in that particular cloud. So for example, Microsoft Azure, anything that is related to Windows, they are the best. And Oracle Cloud, if you run Oracle, probably is the best uh, way to start. So I will say that the, the multi-cloud is not only the disaster recovery type, but uh, people want to use the best cloud for the particular application they have, and they have multiple applications, so use multiple cloud. Um, I'm curious. Do you get visibility as to you know why your customers you know choosing Google? Are there are there do you have customers that are you know using Google that aren't using the other public clouds? Is it primarily your customers are using it as a secondary source? Any any data you've got or anecdotes? Uh, uh, so we, we have a two two type of uh, customers: the ones that are are multi cloud and the others that are going from on premise to the cloud. Uh, as you know, we have an on-premise business, and we make it very easy uh, from on-premise to move to the cloud. Uh, we just launched in, in here in uh, Google Cloud a um, uh, service called Cloud Hydration, that basically we allow a customer to move the, the entire infrastructure from on-premise to the cloud with zero or minimal downtime. So we, we will ship the all the, the storage to the on-premise facilities. The customer will pay per use. Uh, it, we will start doing replication uh, to the cloud, or in some cases, if, if it is a multiple petabyte, we will ship the equipment uh, to the cloud, and in the meantime, we can do replication, and, and at the end, we can switch and fail over and continue, the customer can continue from the cloud. So, yeah, so cloud hydration. Cloud is, hydration, is, yes. Is that service, and does that, that support, uh, you know, uh, all, the, all the services? All, all the yeah, so yeah. today we, we are doing this for uh, uh, many customers, and, and it, the, good, the good use case is when a customer want to move a lot of data to the cloud, but they don't want to have downtime. Yeah. Because the uh, Amazon Snowball and or all these uh, um, boxes, you need to copy the data and then ship and then restore. So, so it's not a truck that takes three months. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. On your, on, it's not on your location. This, uh, is, this is what we do. We ship double amount of equipment to the customer, they start doing the copy, and then half of it we ship to the cloud. We yeah. connect to the cloud and resume the connection, and all the time the customer continue to uh, run. Okay? Yeah. And at this, uh, the last moment they, they do the uh, failover. So it's minimum downtime, even if you need to ship one petabyte of storage. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm curious. You know, we've been going through such you know tremendous changes in the storage industry. Um, do, do you guys sell to you know? Is it the storage person? You know, who who who, who do you sell to, and what's what's their mind? Uh, they, wh where where is their mind at when they think about storage today? Yeah, uh, we we sell yeah we sell storage. So the yeah. <laughs> the storage person is the one that yeah. Buying. As you said you know a lot of people if they're buying Google if even if they're, they're put in AWS services the storage person you know is a lot of time kind of shoved out of the mix. You're, uh, you're a little it, bit shoved more out of the mix until they have a problem that they they need to bring <laughs> back the storage. Wait wait are you are you saying that could be a problem? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is that uh, and and this is I think the how the the cloud started the, the cloud started say, ah storage is just just storage yeah. uh, until you start running real applications and, and you need the performance and you need the reliability and so on. Uh, so this is why you need the storage guy to architect the, the solution. And, and this is where, where we, we, we come in. We actually act as a, a really good outsourcing team of storage experts uh, to the customer. And, and we help them with this transition from on-premise to the cloud on, on, in many cases, back and forth, the customer want to have a leg in, in the cloud a leg, uh, on premise and, and move data easily back and forth. So, uh, 
you know, Google made, you know, a, a good push at this show talking about, you know, building the ecosystem, how they want to work with partners. They had, you know, companies like, uh, you know, PwCs all over the place, uh, SAP, yeah. uh, you know, a very strong partnership. Uh, how have you found it to work with Google? Um, any, you know, things you'd say to them as to how they can, you know, accelerate and move things faster to, yeah. you know, build, build up uh, the system? So far, the, our experience with Google was uh, extremely good, yeah. okay? The, the people are very, uh, you know, dynamic, they have the Google uh, dynamism that, that is very good, uh, and for us it was uh, really good to, to have a, a close relationship with the Google product managers and, and, and sales people and so on, so we, we, we enjoy of a really good relationship with Google Cloud. All right. Well, Nelson, want to give you the final word. Uh, you know, things you've learned this week. Any cool customer conversation you've yeah. had? Uh, give us a final takeaway. Yeah. So the the my, I guess my my summary is that uh, here in Google Cloud we have a, a big advantage because we we have a um, NAS NFS SIFs uh, with Active Directory integration and all the snapshot and capabilities that enterprise need. And you know that Google doesn't have a EFS type of functionality, uh, and our functionality is actually higher than EFS. Uh, so this is what we are talking to customers here in Google uh, Cloud. Anybody that needs uh, uh, NFS and SIFs and NAS and, and multi-cloud and on-premise to the cloud, is, is, uh, they, they talk to us and <laughs> we are re uh, ready to go. All right, well, Nelson Nahum, really appreciate you coming to the studio here to share what's happening uh, at the Google event. Um, be sure to check out wikibon.com for all of our cloud research and, of course, siliconangle.tv uh, to see all the shows we're going to be at as, as well as the, the replays um, from this. Lots of other you know, cloud infrastructure, IoT, and big data shows. Uh, we'll be back with lots more coverage here, uh, day two of two, uh, covering Google Cloud uh, from the SiliconANGLE Media Studio in Palo Alto. You're watching theCUBE.